I'm Sasi Schmidt with the Noise Museum of Art and here we are with another Art at Home activity and today we'll be doing a circles printing activity that is going to be fun using just simple materials that you might have at home. Jar lids, bottle lids, plastic lids from different containers, straws, plastic containers in different sizes. This art project is inspired by the work of Vasily Kandinsky, a Russian painter who was influenced by the Impressionists and also by the folk art of the Russian countryside, especially the bright colors that he found there. He is very well known for his circle paintings and here you can see his circles within a circle. So we're gonna use some tempera paints. We're going to use them in uh, primary colors. So yellow, red, and blue. Mix those and create overlaps with, with the different circles and create new colors. So, and on that note, let's get started. And this ties in with the Hamilton bicycle themed third Thursday that we are excited to be a part of. So first we're going to get out some primary colors and spread them out so that they'll make a good printing ink pad. And we'll start with yellow because that's a nice light color and other it blends really well with other colors. So we'll start with some yellow. So I think we will move on to some blue. Let's try the blue. So let's get some other shapes in there. You want to make something that looks something like a wheel. So I created this toilet tube with a rubber band around it to make it look a little bit like the spokes of a bicycle wheel. So let's see what happens when we use that. So now we're going to put some paint on the edges of this lid so we can get some bold color on there. Put it down here. Okay, now we have another shape that we can dip. We'll put it in the yellow and I'm going to put it over the blue and over the red. See what happens with the colors. I'm also going to put some yellow, some more yellow on there. So as a finishing touch, I'm going to make a really big circle on the painting, just like Kandinsky did with his big final circle. And I'm going to paint around the edge with black paint. So I'm going to take the bucket and I'm going to place it on the painting. Here. I feel like we need another, we need another black circle in there. I'm gonna put a smaller black circle in as well. So make sure we get a good line and 
Let's do this one right here. 